Hi, this is Sean from Psychotactics.com. Now, as we're going through this video project, we've run into a whole bunch of chaos. The lights haven't worked at one point, the sound hasn't worked, and things just seem to go crazy. When we go through this whole week, as we're going through this week shooting video, we're running into a whole bunch of things that we didn't expect and we thought were perfect. And this is exactly what happens in your life. As you go through your day, you think, well, I'm going to have this to-do list and I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what you have is things backed up from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock or 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock, whatever time you work. And invariably, things are going to go wrong. And, and we don't ever seem to plan for this chaos. We never seem to plan for chaos. All we seem to have is this to-do list and we never have any chaos. So here's what I'm saying to you. What you need to do every single day is plan for chaos. Every single day, you need to keep a third of your day or a fourth of your day for chaos. So if you're going to work for, or you're going to be awake for, say, eight hours or 12 hours, then at least three hours need to be chaos. And people say, I don't have that much time. You know, I've got to run around. The chaos is going to come whether you like it or not. We have chaos every single day whether we like it or not. And because we put that chaos factor in, because we factor in that whole chaos section, we're not stressed when it does hit us. And you know what? Some days it doesn't hit us at all. Some days it just flows beautifully. And on those days we sit down or we have a two hour long coffee. So in summary, what do you have to do? Plan your day, but keep one fourth of your day for chaos because chaos is gonna turn up. You might as well get used to it. If the chaos doesn't turn up, have a nice coffee.